Hello good people, it's John and welcome back to the Pet Hipster channel with me. Today I'm going to be trying something new, a product that I'm familiar with, but have never actually tried myself. And this is also a location that I've never been to before. This place is called Capriati's. And of all the things I've ordered, this is the only thing that has their name and or logo on it. And this is just cup of coleslaw, which isn't really what I'm going to be trying. I've definitely had coleslaw before, but I just ordered it because they say they make their own coleslaw, and I wanted to try it as well. Capriati's is a sandwich shop um, established, as you can see here, in 1976. So it's like a bicentennial type of place. Anyway, it was founded in Wellington, Delaware in 1976. By Lewis and Alan Marjolet. It named it after their grandfather, whose name was Philip Capriotti. Now, fast forward to 2007. Two franchisees in Las Vegas who've had a location for like 20 ish years or so decided to buy out a corporation. They put it in escrow and eventually uh, gained full control. And now they're headquartered in Las Vegas, Nevada. So the place originated in Wilmington, Delaware, and is now headquartered in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's just gonna be blurry until it fixes itself. The perfect place for me to try my first New York sandwich. And what New York sandwich? None other than a chopped cheese. Now, chopped cheese, some people say it's from, uh, similar to a Philly cheesesteak, but it's not steak, it's burger meat. If you go to a bodega in New York, you'll probably be able to get a chopped cheese sandwich. It's basically a cheeseburger, but instead of a big patty, they chop it up, mix cheese into it, put it on a long roll, and then top it like you would a cheeseburger. Lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion, that kind of thing. I got the large one, which apparently is this big. Um, probably only half of it. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Taste it. And see if people who are watching this in New York all of a sudden just turn it off the video. All right, it's very messy looking. Just turn it, turn it, turn it. It's gonna be a view of this monstrosity. See, it has tomatoes, lettuce, filled with uh, burger meat, mayo, um, I believe pickles and onions. Um, yeah, I believe that's it. Let's see. Let's go to the official website and see everything that's on there. Menu. New York chopped cheese. It says that it is made with chopped beef, melted American cheese, grilled onions, and served on a toasted bun topped with mayo, ketchup, lettuce, and tomatoes. There you go. Now, Capriati's is more famous for their turkey. Uh, it's one of the things they originally had when they first opened. They roast whole turkeys and ham pull them daily. Now, uh, their main uh, burger is called the Bobby, which is basically Thanksgiving dinner on a bun, which looks like a stuffing and cranberry sauce on it. But enough with the history of Capriati's, we're here to taste the chopped cheese. My first Capriati sandwich, my first chopped cheese sandwich. Here we go. It is messy. Mm. I'm just getting my burger juice all in my beard. I'm going to have to wash my face after this.
Well, first impression is I enjoy it. It tastes good. I'm going to get a few more bites of it. Well, all my first impressions are positive. With it is messy. I said it was messy. That's I guess a negative. But the meat is very tasty. It's very sort of beefy flavored meat. I've been several bites and I haven't bitten any like gristly or hard to chew meat. There's a lot of cheese and mayo mixed into it, which makes it a very juicy, moist sandwich. Um, so honestly, I couldn't tell you like what the fat to protein ratio of uh, the beef is on here just because there's so much other uh, fat and other things adding to the moisture of it which in the end is good because you don't want like a dry uh, cheeseburger sandwich uh, the mayo in here tastes good I don't know what kind of mayo Capriati's uses but it's pretty flavorful it has a nice tanginess to it it's creamy it probably has to do with the cheese that's mixed in there too it makes it a little bit uh, creamy tasting I honestly can't think of anything negative to say. The bun is soft, pillowy. Not, no part of the bun is stale feeling. It's very fresh. They even season their tomatoes. I don't know if you can see this. On the tomato. There's salt and pepper on that tomato, which anytime you have a burger or a sandwich where you really want that tomato flavor to pop, a little uh, salt, a little cracked pepper on top of that tomato, and it's going to elevate anything you like about tomato on the sandwich you're eating. And in this case, that's what it's doing here. I'm going to go ahead and try the coleslaw uh, just as a little bonus because they say they make their coleslaw fresh daily I don't know exactly what that means do they shred all these ingredients fresh daily do they make the sauce fresh daily because it could just mean they have packages of already chopped up uh, cabbage and packages of already mixed up coleslaw dressing and just mix it daily Anyway, we're going to try it and see if it tastes good. You can do this on some of their sandwiches too. But uh, as far as coleslaw goes, it's good. It uh, you can tell that the the, the vegetable in this is fresh. Um, there's nothing too like soggy about it, and there's nothing too like dried out about it. And the, the 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 dressing in here is very mild, I'll say. Uh, it does coat it nicely. Um, it's not too liquidy. It's not too thick. It could be a little more tangy, a little more seasoned to my liking. Uh, but it's not bad. It's not the best or the worst coleslaw I've ever had. It's a decent companion uh, as a side to any kind of sandwiches you might order. Um, so anyway, let me know in the comments if you're from New York, if this looks like 
or chopped cheese that you might order if you live there. Um, first impression of caviar is good. First impression of what a chopped cheese is supposed to taste like is good. Overall, very satisfied with this review. I'm going to give uh, Capriati's and specifically the their chopped cheese a thumbs up. I do recommend if you have a Capriati's in your area to try this out. Maybe if you're in New York, you probably want to get chopped cheese from somewhere else. But if you're not in New York, this is the only place that I know that has locations nationwide where you can try a chopped cheese sandwich. Unless you just make it at your home, which might be a really good option as well. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And you'll see more uh, food reviews of things that I find interesting that are new coming out. Or maybe they're not new, but I just discovered them. And you'll hear my opinion. The professional uh, opinion of some guy. Anyway, so long. Goodbye. See you next time.